Today, I will be treating this airband made of Ankara. So lovely. So, you'll be needing our Alice band. We have different types of Alice band. Thread. Three types of material. Gum. B600. Although, for this style, I did. For this style, I did. For this style, I did not use gum. I used my needle and thread. But much later, I will be introducing gum. I will be showing you how to use gum. So, for my Alice band, I would like to use this. I would like to use this for her, for my Alice band. This is the type I use. Then to my fabric, the measurement is ten inches length. Length is forty. The length is forty. Then the wideness is 10, 10 inches. So I'll be needing this to wrap my Alice band. It's 18 inches by three and a half by three. 17 by three and a half. So I'll be needing this small rope. So let's start now. The first thing to do is to cover this Alice band with this Ankara. As I've told you, we can use gum, but because of the type of Alice band I'm using, there's O. So I'll be using needle. I'll be using needle. And at the same time, you might not be chance. Might not be chance or might not have a gun. Hmm? You can still do something with that gun. So I want to cover this Alice band now. Use it to wrap it round. So since I'm not using gum, I'm going to be using a needle and thread. Because at times you might be in school, you want to do something, you just want to do something to look lovely. And uh, for you to go to to get a gum is not that easy. You can use your needle and thread to do it. So make sure you wrap it very well. You wrap it very well, then you now take your needle. You take your needle to tie it. While I'm using needle is is that I'm considering a student that might be in school and maybe you have an outing and you are tired of using a gile and all this uh, ashuki and you want to do something like this. Yes, why not? And for you to get a, 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 a gum is not easy. Or for you to go to a fashion designer house or look for someone that has a machine. This is do it yourself. DIY. You do it yourself at home. Cut your pieces of material that you want to use. Do something like this. Even if you have any Alice, if you have any Alice band that that is covered like this, it has hope, oh, it's useful. This you can easily use a needle for this one too. So you cover it like this. You, you start to cover. This is how you are going to end the mouth. You fold it in. Make sure the, the something is in. The excess is in. You now tack. You tack it. 
remember you are doing it yourself at all you don't have machine uh, you just have little experience of how to put a needle and thread and uh, do some stitches so you can still do this you can still do it so you finish the mouth and if you have gum you can still use gum or you have alice band you can put alice band and you not put gum so this is it i've covered it i've covered it i've covered it So, let's go to the main material, to the top. How are we going to do the ruffles? So, we are going to use our material. 40 by, by 10 inches. You know, we are not having machine. We are using hand. So, we are going to be running stitches with our needle. So I will show you how to run stitches now. If you hold the two edges together, this is DIY. You do it yourself at all. You don't have machine, you don't have sewing machine. You have to, you are there and you want to use something unique for your outing. So you start like this. Just do a running stitches. Running stitches. Running stitches. You hold your fabric together, and if you have machine, fine, you can use machine. Just running stitches is not a normal stitch, just to hold the two edge together. So you now hand it here. So I hit yeah. At this point, we are going to turn it to the front, turn the material to the front. So I are going to be doing that. <coughs> Do it like this. it out <clears throat> make sure everything is out and 
Let me see an example like this. <clears throat> so we now take the other pieces. We now fix it inside. We fix the other pieces inside. Take it inside like this. Take one hand to hold it inside. And the other one to pull the fabric. This is it. We've done it. So at this point, you hold this one with one hand. You will now have to tag this one down. You will have to bend this at the center. We bend this together. Or we first use our needle. Let's use our needle to tag the one we put inside. What is when we are about to close the mouth. Okay, let me note it. Out. So now you are going to close it. You fold the edges inside. Make sure the thread you are using is machine thread. The thread that really match the material they are, that you are using. Since you are not using machine. And this means you, are continue, you have to continue to hold this. You don't allow it to go inside. Make sure the thread you are using is the same color to the material. This is Shani for Lakesh channel. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Thumbs up if you have any question. Drop it at the notice at the comment box. Click the notification table or the button so that you will know you'll be notified when next I will be dropping. Hopefully, I'll be dropping every two days. So you now tie. You tie neatly. So after tying that, you come to the edge here. Come to the edge. Then we now take our Alice band. We now take our Alice band. This is what we are doing. Now take our Alice band. Don't forget that this one is still there. Can you see it's of the same measurement? So we now take our Alice band, we tie, 
in use they do this will be the end product this will be the end product so let's go to the finishing now you can see that the it's of the same size so we are going to close this side the way I dig it to the other place to the other to the edge we close Make sure you are using the machine in a uh, thread, the color that match that suits your fabric. And be careful, don't let the needle to hook you. So you will now stitch it round. You stitch it round. And if you want to use gum, you can use gum. You tack it around. Can you see what I'm doing? So we are almost to the end of the video now. Kindly subscribe to my channel, Shining for the K Craft Studio. This is a place where you learn a lot of craft. A lot of things that you can do by your own to make money that you can do for yourself. If you have any comments or any question, I'll be obliged to answer you. Drop it at the comment box. So this is it. Can you see? Can you see? You are lovely. See you next time. Thank you.